Genesis chapter 13, a pivotal chapter in the Bible, holds profound wisdom and lessons for us all. This chapter is a cornerstone of biblical teachings illustrating the themes of trust, obedience, and the fulfillment of God's promise. Genesis chapter 13 tells the story of Abram and Lot's separation, a significant event that reveals deep insights about human nature and divine guidance. Their journey, filled with trials and decisions, serves as a beacon of understanding for us as we navigate our own life paths. The chapter underscores the importance of trust in divine providence and the virtue of obedience. It reaffirms the promise God made to Abram, a promise that has shaped the course of biblical history. So, as we delve into Genesis chapter 13, we will uncover these themes and reflect on how they can resonate with our lives today. Let's journey together through this remarkable chapter and discover the wisdom it holds for us all. Starting from the first verse, we find Abram with his wife and Lot leaving Egypt and journeying to the Negev. This movement symbolizes a shift, a return to the promised land after their sojourn in Egypt. As we progress, we notice that both Abram and Lot have amassed considerable wealth, indicated by their livestock, silver and gold. Yet, this affluence becomes a source of tension the land they occupy, though vast, struggles to accommodate both their herds. This lack of space stirs up conflict between their herdsmen, a poignant reflection of how material wealth can strain relationships and breed discord. Meanwhile, the presence of the Canaanites and Perizzites in the land adds another layer to the narrative. These indigenous tribes sharing the same space underscore the complexity of the situation Abram and Lot find themselves in. The land, unable to support both Abram and Lot, leads to strife, symbolizing that greed and material wealth can often lead to conflict. Moving forward to verse 8, we see Abram proposing a solution to Lot to end their strife. Abram's wisdom shines through as he suggests that they should part ways in order to avoid any further disagreements. He graciously offers Lot the first choice of land, demonstrating the value he places on their relationship over material wealth. Then we come to verse 10 where Lot, captivated by the lush and fertile Jordan Valley, chooses it for himself. This region reminiscent of the Garden of Eden was not only visually appealing but also promised prosperity, however it was close to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which were notorious for their wickedness. The chapter concludes with verses 12 and 13, where Abram, left with the land of Canaan, chose to stay. Despite the fact that it was less fertile than the Jordan Valley, Abram accepted it without any resentment. Abram's selfless act shows us the importance of peace and family over wealth and possessions. In the concluding verses of Genesis chapter 13, we see God's promise to Abram. These verses provide a profound revelation of God's covenant with Abram. After Lot's departure, God tells Abram to look around to the north, south, east and west, promising him all the land that he can see. Then, in a declaration that reverberates through the ages, God promises Abram that his offspring will be as numerous as the dust of the earth, an impossible number to count, much like the stars in the sky, a comparison that is used later in Genesis. This promise is not only about Abram's personal wealth and prosperity, but it's also a promise of a great nation born from his lineage. Abram's reaction to this divine assurance is to build an altar to the Lord, a mark of his faith and gratitude. God's promise to Abram reiterates that obedience and trust in God can lead to blessings beyond our comprehension. Genesis chapter 13 is not merely a historical account, but a chapter filled with life lessons. It brings to the forefront the timeless themes of trust, obedience and God's promise, themes that resonate deeply even in today's world. When we delve into the story of Abram and Lot, we are reminded of the importance of trust. Trust in our relationships, trust in our decisions, and most importantly, trust in God's promise. The chapter also teaches us about obedience. Like Abram, we're often called to make difficult decisions for the betterment of those we love. This obedience, though challenging, often leads to greater blessings. So next time you're faced with a tough choice, remember Abram's obedience and trust in God's promise. Finally, let's remember that God's promises are unfailing, even in the face of adversity. So let's hold on to faith, even when the road gets tough. By reflecting on Genesis chapter 13, we can strive to incorporate these valuable lessons into our lives, leading to personal growth and deeper faith.